All right, well, meal prepping is something a lot of us aspire to do, but often have no clue where to start. hy makes it easy, and Audrey, the dietitian, has tips just for you. Tom has more on that now. Tom, how's it going at hy -Vee? It's going great, and yes, as you said, it's all about the prep and things like that, and as you mentioned, I'm speaking with Audrey, registered dietitian here at hy -Vee. Good to see you again. It's good to see you again. All right. You know, so many times you recommend these are good things to eat, these are passive. You're going to talk a little bit more about the ease that you can give yourself about meal prep. Yes, yeah, so I know today I'm going to be talking a little bit about meal prep magic, which is a little sneak peek into our new seasons magazine. Uh, I, I knew it was there for a reason. I know, just a little sneak peek. So I know I wanted to mention all of the different things that you can meal prep or some ideas that you can meal prep so that you can have it to take with you on the go. You don't necessarily have to think about it after you get home, after maybe a long day, mm -hmm. or maybe you just need to grab something very quickly out of the fridge. Are these things also, I mean, you can make the big meal in meal prep, portion them out so you can stretch them as well? Yes, so that's what I actually recommend to do. So usually, you know, for me personally, I will meal prep, you know, three or four days worth, and okay. I will actually take some meal prep containers. We sell these at Hy-Vee too. Yeah. These ones are nice because they're divided. So you can put like a pasta, you can put a rice so that it doesn't soak up all of that sauce. Right, you're not just eating that one thing. You're getting an actual meal that way. Exactly, or you okay. could have something all together on this side and then have something like a fruit or oh, okay. you know, yeah. a yogurt or something sure. on this side too. Um, so I just wanted to kind of mention a whole bunch of different items that you might be able to meal prep. For. All right. So kind of starting over on this side here, you could do something like a pasta. So a whole wheat pasta or a regular pasta, those are great to keep in your cabinets too in mm -hmm. case you're ever just kind of craving something, you don't have to go to the store and get it. You can just kind of pull it out of your pantry. Pasta too. fills you nicely too. It does. Yeah. With this being whole wheat, it's going to fill you a little bit more oh, okay. too um, so that you're feeling fuller for longer and you're mm -hmm. not eating as much too. Well, if you're thinking also about, you know, meal prep and everything like that, certain things you could almost buy in bulk as well exactly because they keep for a long time yes exactly yeah. or say you're making like a pasta but then yeah. you're also making like a chili maybe you're making meatballs with your beef for your pasta and then you're using that beef and you're using that in your chili too so you can kind of use it for multiple things okay so yeah. i've got our pasta you can do any kind of sauce with it whether it's a pesto whether it's an alfredo whether it's a red sauce you can do something like our shortcuts, which are really fantastic. You don't have to prep anything with that, too. What's that on top? Because for my vision right here, I thought it was gummy bears or something. <laughs> this <laughs> is um, cut up, diced up bell peppers. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you're using this in like a pasta or even in a chili, this one's great because you don't have to take that extra time to cut up those vegetables. Mm -hmm. They're already pre done up for you. Okay. So these ones are good. You can also do like that beef. Over here, I also have like a stir fry. So you could do a brown rice and make it on the stove, or you can take these little packages that you Those just, are handy. They're awesome. Yeah, they are. You just pop them in the microwave and then they're ready to go. Uh -huh. I also have some frozen veggies. Those don't necessarily go bad and you can kind of portion out what you want as well. True. And then I have our rotisserie chicken up here that's already pre-cooked. Which can, everybody loves. I love the, my rotisserie yeah, I know. chicken. I know. <laughs> I know too with our Perks members, if you are a Perks member at hy -Vee, you get it for $5.99 instead of $8.99, which is awesome. Awesome. That's nice. I know. So, and then I've got by two. Yes, yeah, by <laughs> two. Um, I've also got a teriyaki sauce or whatever kind of sauce yeah, that you right, want right, to use right, with right. it as well. So and that's we, kind of our um, stir fry side. All right, we got about a, probably a minute and a half or so. What do we have over hey, here? The real quick one. So I, you could do an overnight oats. So you could do an oats, a milk, some berries, and then um, some kind of like chia seed. Uh -huh. And then we also have like a chili. So you can do some no salt added beans and some tomatoes. Maybe you're adding that beef or that chicken along with some stock and then some low salt seasonings too. Okay, and, and as you said before, utilize the different things. It doesn't have to be just for one type of beef. I mean, when you mentioned, you know, the pasta. You've got hamburger over there, ground beef. Mm -hmm. You can use it over here too. You don't have to just think, well, that's all I can make it with. Exactly, and I know with being the dietitian at the store, I absolutely love kind of finding those substitutions to kind of make the best meals and kind of stretch your dollar further too. Yeah, and that's what you do for people. One of the things you yes. do for people here, pretty yes, easy. it is. So if anyone wants to contact me, hyvee.com slash health and just kind of search for me, we can get something set up too. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. What are we gonna talk about next? We're gonna be talking about, lab or not Labor Day, <laughs> leap year, a <laughs> leap year sale. Okay, leap year sale. Yeah. That's gonna come our way in just a little bit, me and Audrey.
back to you. Thanks so much, Tom. Hemi, uh, meal prepping really is so easy, but it's challenging for a lot of people. But like we have such busy schedules, this is yes. a great thing to try. I was gonna say just setting aside the time to do it yeah. or just not knowing where to start. So it's great that Heidi yeah. has those tips because that's definitely something I need to start yes. doing. Yes, yes. So use Audrey's advice.